fantastic. We will always talk about the adverts for Taekwondo. Yeah, she. <laughs> I love her style, and I think uh, she can bring the audience. She can bring the spectators. I love to watch her. She's this uh, old style for years. She changed some things, but as you can see, she started a slow. Now she's in the finals, and she's a true fighter. She most certainly is. Well, it is the Grand Prix, and she's going through the gears, and she's going into the final. Who will go into the men's 68s? Great Britain against Jordan. Well, Britain's Bradley Sinden, flanked there by Martin Stampart, fellow Olympian, but the young Brit, very impressive in Tokyo. Well, really impressive, but we know he is world champion, European champion, I think he's chasing for the Olympic champion title, and he has the quality, really, especially his quarterfinal was amazing with a young guy from the French national team. I was really surprised, I didn't he knew him, but amazing Jordan. fight. Zayed Karim striding in, flanked by Faris in Paris. The coach on the way through. And Karim will know all about the quality of Bradley Sinden. But talk about quality on the way through. Hasn't dropped around. Yeah, he hasn't dropped around. Uh, but this is his second Grand Prix. And he lost in Rome in quarterfinal with Bradley. So I think this is a new opportunity for him, especially now he's in the semi-final. And you never know what will happen. We certainly don't. Che Young Bay will bring them on their way. And chapeau means top class, so chapeau to the, the research there from Milica Juricic, just dropping in those little yeah, knowledge bombs. I you know I'm a geek. I, I Love like it. to search everything. It's a pleasure to share that knowledge with all of the Taekwondo fans. And indeed, the fighters maybe are fighting tomorrow, but it's all about the action now. Sindan against Zaid Karim. Karim the Jordanian, of course, and the young Brit in blue, Sindan. Into that open stance. Well, he's shown great mastery today of kicking in the clinch, blocking. All the skills you need to pay the bills here in Paris as Karim comes in with a big power punch. A signal of intent from the Jordanian. Both men just blocking, of course, checking out the options, running through the database in their head to go, to stick, to wait. Well, yeah, usually the first, the first minute is a little bit slow, just checking what is the opponent, uh, what is he doing, his tactics. But uh, for me, it looks Jordan is really strong. We can see his push kick, his blocks. It's not easy for Bradley to score. Exactly that, the jumping double, a whisker away from the whiskers of the bearded Bradley. Air Jordan almost landing. It's a solid punch. For me, I think it needs to be a little bit stronger for the guys in 68. I'm with you on that one. There was a little nod of acknowledgement there. Is Bradley looking really sharp and fast, but we all know how much he is flexible. I really think he will score if he continues this way. He, he can he can land uh, a head kick. He tries to do that there. Comes forward with the front leg chop descending. Zaid Karim quite happy though to keep it at a longer distance. Yeah, he's a little bit taller, I think. A good block in the inside there from Karim. Sees it coming. Reads the playbook of Sindin. Only one point separating them. Bradley tries from the inside. This is come true for him, but in quarterfinals, he made like five or six this kind of kicks. It's not easy to do this. It isn't easy, and it's been difficult work so far from Karim Saeed. He's had all the answers. Ascendant swings and misses double. He will fall over. He'll take the gam, John. There's still time in this one. Which way is it going to go? Jay Young Bay gives the gam, John. 2-1, a swing and a miss, big back leg turning kick. And that will be the first round in favour of Zaid Karim. Amazing round for Zaid. Sorry to interrupt you, but I think his tactics were really good. He closed him in the, in the clinch fight, in the close distance. He didn't... Bradley couldn't score with his, I think, favourite kick. Uh, chop kick from the inside and one Kam Chung, one 
one punch, 2-0, enough for the first round. Yeah, and it's so interesting you mentioned that quarterfinal because these so-called twisting kicks or monkey kicks or animal kicks are not allowed, but there were plenty of them in that quarter. Yeah, I agree. They were allowed to do it, so they do it. And the other guy and Bradley, so every clinch, you had a couple points. <laughs> I didn't know, yeah, twisted kick, yeah, yep. monkey kick also. But now we saw Kamchuk for that, so you know you cannot do it. Well, from the twist to the shout, and in with a shout of the final, Zaid Karim. You can bring Sindin forward now. Just if you are new to it, it's best two out of three. So Sindin needs to get on the board to put it into a deciding third round. This, is, this was a good punch for me, really. Yeah, a couple of lights went on, but... No score. That was a nice back kick to head, but oh, after that, Bradley scored 2 0 for him. Good start. Yeah, the defensive skills of Sindin avoids the big sweeping head kick from Karim. Has a couple on the board, he's up on his toes, he's coming forward. Trying to give Karim something to think about. Great like back two leg two turning kick. Back like this is the old style go back and kick. I think Bradley did not expect that, so 2 2 for now. We can see Jordanian fighter is really strong. You can see in clinch fight with blocks, with push kick. Zaid Karim's got the power, almost tries to power in a double kick there. Cracks off the legs of Sindin. Tries with a push, there's the little jumping up technique on the inside. They've got the flexibility, both men. The range of movement in the hips is, is crazy. Yeah, I agree, but I think maybe they're a little bit tired now. Belik had really tough quarterfinal. Three rounds, crazy three rounds, and I like this style. <laughs> you always score with a back kick, 4-2, four 4-3, four and 40 seconds to go. Well, there's the headshot response there from Sindon. Will it be allowed to stand? Che young -bi has a good look at it. It will stand, jumps up, turns the tables there on Zaid Karim. One round in favor of the Jordanian so far. Sindon needs this to force it into a decider. Yeah, for me, that was an amazing kick. You need flexibility to do that. You need timing and to use everything. But Jordan and the left back kick for the third time in this round, it is amazing. Well, it most certainly is. It's six all. There's a little tiny blue dot on the screen. That means that Sindon has hit the protector more, so he's still in the lead. For the second, there's a big back right wow. turning kick. Lands perfectly though. What a performance. Zaid Karim lifts the roof off here in Paris. And what a way to win it. This was an amazing fight, especially for him with a back kick for the fourth time in this round. He is amazing. I think Bradley did not expect this in the last second, but it's okay. Now you learn. This is sometimes I love KPMP because you can score a lot of times with a back leg and this is my kind of style, I love it.